There are so many people who totally overlook Maggie Valley when they think about places to live or second homes. And today we are delving in. We are gonna be all over the town of Maggie Valley. We're gonna visit two different homes. We're gonna to talk to the locals and see what it's all about. It's so close to Waynesville and so close to Asheville, North Carolina, and you don't know about it. Let's go. Welcome to Maggie Valley. Today is your day. <laughs> Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Beth. <laughs> Maggie Valley has a lot to offer for how big it is. It's kind of yeah. tiny. It's 1,700 it people, is yeah. that right, that live in Maggie Valley? So most of the people that are coming here yeah. are from other places all over the U.S., mostly the Southeast, because they're, they're pretty much driving here. But it's a big tourist destination. And why, why are they coming here? They're coming here because a lot of times it's just frankly too hot where they are, they live. Oh. So they're coming up from the south. We have a lot of Floridians, people from Georgia, and um, they're coming to escape the heat and enjoy this mountain breeze, which you'll see throughout the day. It's pretty breezy up here. You know, some people don't even have air conditioning up here. But also people that are coming here for an experience, to get away from the daily grind in their daily life and experience something, something different. Okay, so the first thing that we see when we come into town are the mountains are surrounding the entire valley, yeah. the Maggie Valley. Wait, is, why is it called Maggie Valley? Because because of Maggie Valley. She's here, you guys. Maggie Valley is But here. it was named after a woman named Maggie May, right? Yeah. But the first thing that we notice when we come into Maggie Valley are the mountains oh, yeah. that surround everything. So it's yeah. really easy to get a mountain view, even if you're in town. That it's true, because we, we truly are in a valley. Right now, we're right along Soco Road, which is where everything is. So all the mini golf, putt-putt, ice cream shops, there is a Maggie Valley Festival grounds. All of the restaurants ice are all right here. Did you say ice cream twice? Because you like ice cream a lot? I've been eating a lot of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, and then the neighborhoods spawn off from there. So if you're coming here to live either for um, full-time residence, a vacation home, or a vacation rental, maybe something you want to rent out when you're not here. That's a great idea. It's a great idea, and a lot of people do it, and they're all in cute little neighborhoods here. They are, and they're really close yeah. to town. So, yes. I mean, there are vacation homes mm -hmm. all throughout here. You'll see a lot of cabins. Yes. You'll see, also see some other homes, but there's a lot of like wood cabins, so yeah. you really get that like mountain yeah. feel mm -hmm. of the woods and nature kind of being one. Right, bringing um, it back to that experience. Bringing it back to the whole experience. Yeah. And yeah. so when we look at Maggie Valley and we look at like buying a second home okay. here. This guy. Who's this? Oh, the bear. See, I mean, there's you're, still... you're going to see a lot of bear paraphernalia here. Yeah. A lot. When you're looking at buying a second home here. Yes. Are there are there a lot of restrictions? Yes and no, but oftentimes um, they're not. There, there's a lot of neighborhoods that do, have not updated their restrictions. To be honest, it, it's they're old. So that could change in the future. It might change in the future. That's something that we need to look at. That's a great point because that's really why you also want to have a realtor on your side, and we will be glad to look into any of that for you. If you're thinking about buying a second home or a primary home in this absolutely beautiful place. So feel free to contact us any of the ways down below. And we don't only just help people buy homes. We also, if you're a local in Western North Carolina, we can help you sell your home too. We'll be glad to give you advice on that. So what we're gonna do today is we are gonna tour Maggie Valley as a whole. We're gonna hit the big spots, the fun spots, the exciting spots, but we're also going to go to two really interesting properties mm -hmm. that have a lot to talk about that are gonna showcase uh, different ways that you can use your property in Maggie Valley to either earn extra income or have it be a wonderful spot for you to vacation in or perhaps live full time. Yeah. So stick with us. It's going to be a blast today. Hey, can we look around a little bit? Mm. Well, if you're going to be in the South, you're going to see a lot of apple butter. Oh, we always need a dog here. Oh, this is your store? You're doing a great job. How long have you lived in Maggie Valley? Well, I don't really live in Maggie Valley. Where do you live? I live in Camp. 
You live in Canton. Okay. We've been, I bought this store, me and my wife bought it a year ago. So you have an idea of who comes to Maggie Valley. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, so tell us about who comes to Maggie Valley. Uh, Do they live here? Are they uh, tour? Well, no, a lot of visitors. Let me show you something right up here. What I got is I got a map up here that people that, if you buy an item, this is, if you're from somewhere, this is where you pin your map. Okay, so a lot of the people that come to Maggie Valley are from the southeast yes which makes which makes sense but we do have alaska oh you had a person from alaska yes ma'am and then we have one from canada and one from canada so four, well, three from couple, canada. yeah yeah so okay actually my last year matt they were they wasn't so much a bunch here but they was this was covered oh but, so we're only like four four months oh a little over a month okay mm -hmm. so we we don't have a very comprehensive representation as of yet, but no, we will. This is my wife, Teresa. So what are the people that are coming to Maggie Valley, what are they What are they doing here? Well, some of them are here to buy houses and to live here since they see Maggie Valley. Why do you think they want to live in Maggie Valley? Did you not take pictures of how beautiful it was out here? <laughs> we right. are, but we want to hear it out of your mouth. Oh, that's, that's why, well, that's <laughs> why they're coming here. It's what a lot of people say. It's really relaxing because of all the nature. Mm -hmm. Why are there so many elk here? Well, they reinduced them. Oh. Reintroduced them. Re I like reinduced. Yeah, yeah re. <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> they were just about eradicated here, mm. but then they reinduced them. Reintroduced them. <laughs> did they do that on purpose? Yes, on purpose. <laughs> yes, ma'am, they did that on purpose. It's around. a great place. I mean, there's stuff to do, like, you know, the um, motorcycle museum. We're going to go. Oh, that's a nice place. You need to go check that out. we got to hit the motorcycle museum. Thank yeah, there's you. creeks all over the place. I mean, there's one back there and all. But you can go up to Cherokee and there's a creek that they fish in all the time. They have competitions. Up like there. what kind of fish? Trout. Trout. Yep. Oh, it's a big trout place. Yeah. Yeah. I, I looked that up. But yeah. World class trout fishing. World yes. class trout fishing. Yes, it is. The best thing is coming into my knife store. I know. Let's look around and a little bit. Two, a lot of people are friendly and help other people out on where to eat, where to shop, what to do. Mm -hmm. cool. And a lot of people come to see the goat on the rock. Uh, what, what's the goat on the rock? Is there a goat? Uh, uh, We're looking at the, hey, this is Evelyn's. Hey, Bobby. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. And what am I looking at? You're looking for the goat dog. on the rock. Oh, goat on the rock. Goat, goat on, on the, the rock. rock. I do see a white spot. That is a goat. That's a goat? Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, so we just left Maggie Valley and we are now in Cherokee. Yeah. Which is also beautiful. We could make a video about that in the future. Yeah. So it's only five minutes away. Five minutes away from Maggie Valley. Yeah. And this is called Soco Falls. This is absolutely gorgeous. So Western North Carolina in general is known for its water. We yeah. have an abundance of water. Oh, you know what? I had some coffee this morning. <laughs> what, Evelyn? Let me tell you that Maggie Valley was voted number one, the top rated for water quality in North Carolina. Shut the front door. I know. That's wonderful. Yeah. Because we swim in the water a lot. There's a lot of swimming holes around here. Oh, you could do that with Soco Falls. So there's lots of trails in Maggie Valley in general because yeah. it's really close to the Blue Ridge Parkway. So yep. to get to these falls, we went under the Blue Ridge Parkway. Yeah. So I wonder if you could take the Blue Ridge Parkway to, yeah. you can take it to Silva, um, off in that direction. I but love you could Silva's take it to Asheville. Too. Oh, you could take the Blue Ridge Parkway to Asheville. It's going to take you a lot longer than if you just hopped on the highway. The highway would be about 35, 40 minutes. But yeah. at least you would yeah. have an experience on the way, too. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So if you yeah. wanted to live in Maggie Valley yeah. or vacation in Maggie Valley or have a vacation home in Maggie Valley and right. go to Asheville, it would be super easy to do that, even for, like, a show and for dinner. But then you're, like, surrounded with nature. Right. Right, and Here. so we have whitewater rafting, we have Nantahala, Nantahala, Nantahala. Well, whitewater rafting specifically down that one, I know for sure. Yeah, Bird and in Cherokee, Cherokee, there's a little beach you can hang out on the yeah. Lake River. We also have Lake, Lake Junaluska. Yes, and I love walking around that. So there is a walking path all the way around Lake Junaluska. There is a beach that if you want to go in for paddle boarding or, um, kayaking. They even have sunset boat rides. On Lake Junaluska? Yeah. So so once again, Beth, that's why this is such a great area if you want a second home or a vacation rental. There is so much to do here that gets you 
out of your daily life. Okay, well, let's walk around a little bit in nature, head back to town. There's a pancake house I hope is still open. This is the best place for breakfast. Why? It is filling. The plates are, are huge and they fill them up. It is down home cooking food. Before people go skiing at Catalucci, they come here. Oh. oh my gosh, there's a line out the door, usually about an hour every weekend. How many pancakes can you eat? Me, one. My son, 12. <laughs> <laughs> We're showing our Thank Joey's you. experience. Ah, welcome to Joey's. Thank you. What about Maggie Valley in general? Is it a good place to live? It is. It is. I'll tell you, my husband and I, we lived in New Jersey, just was doing a road trip. We were doing the Blue Ridge Parkway. We stopped at Maggie Valley. Yeah. We ate at Joey's. It was three years ago. Two years ago, we moved to Maggie Valley, and I work at And Joey's. you're still eating at Joey's. And, and you're still <laughs> eating at Joey's. <laughs> now, Joey's is kind of a staple in Maggie Valley. What's the story there? Well, you know, a couple of things. So it's been around... 1966. Okay. So there's longevity there. It's it's on its second owner. So you have people that their grandma and grandpa brought back in when they were at knee high. Now they're bringing their grandchildren to Joey's. And so in the last couple years that, that you've been here, have you seen Maggie Valley change at all? Or is it pretty much staying the same size, same people that are coming? Yeah, no, it's um, surprisingly, this is a huge live music town. My husband's a musician. So what kind of music scene is there? I didn't know that. It's This is a huge music community. We thought we were going to have to go to Asheville every weekend yeah. to go listen to music. But here, you know, you get your country, you get your rock. My, my husband does more like 70s acoustic music. So what's it like being a local here now? I mean, because you moved from New Jersey to a really mm. small town in western North Carolina. What, is, that, is that culture shock? So it's very different, obviously, but um, like I realized how what a pressure cooker New Jersey is. Yeah. And you knew there's a lot of stress, right? But coming here, everybody's welcome. Everybody's loving. It's just such a great, supportive environment. Like anywhere you go, mm -hmm. you go to the grocery store. You go, you know, where I work here. This is my family. These people have become my family. Yeah. We are right in the heart of of Maggie Valley, and all around us are cabins. And a lot of these cabins are already short-term rentals. So people will come to Mount Maggie Valley and they will spend some time in their cabin and then rent it when they're not here. So it's pretty amazing. So a lot of people really like the wood feel and the feel of nature when thinking about uh, living in living in Western North Carolina. And they really think about log cabins and they absolutely love it. And Evelyn's gonna give us some tips on if you wanna buy a log cabin, what you need to think about when maintaining a log cabin too. Where we are in Maggie Valley is right off the main thoroughfare, Highway 19, also called SoCo, right? So we're getting pretty familiar with the SoCo. So that means you can pretty much walk to restaurants. You can walk to what? Music venues, to the festival fairgrounds, everywhere. So this home was built in 2006. It's 1,200 square feet. We have two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and just like Beth mentioned, the, uh, the appeal of Maggie Valley a lot is the wood, exposed wood. It's an experience. It's something different. This homeowner happens to be from Florida. They don't have homes like this in Florida. So if you're looking for a second home or a vacation rental, this is the experience that people are looking for. So open floor plan flowing right into each other. Here we have the kitchen with um, electric appliances. You'll see a lot of electric appliances, not gas in the mountains. And this home is $450,000. You do have an HOA fee of $450 a year. That is to help with road maintenance. Most likely if it snows, because you will get snow up here. You'll get snow in Maggie Valley. And we want snow because we have Catalucci Ski Area and we have the sledding tubing hill. So Beth, in People, when they're looking for a second home or a vacation rental, they're looking for space. How many people can we put in this house? How a many lot. beds can we put in this house? So a big loft space like this gives you so many opportunities. But well, you wouldn't know that this existed on the MLS because it's not necessarily listed as a bedroom. So how do we know this exists? You call me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's two bedrooms. Once again, remember, we're relying on permits septic permits yep. so sometimes you'll see a three bedroom but maybe the septic permit is only two once again that's where realtors who know what's going on can really help you but yeah as this loft space so a lot of times you can just throw a couple bunk 
beds up here, make it a bunk room, or make it a game room to hang out. Oh, totally, and you can have the whole family. That yeah. makes so much sense. So what is the advantage, really, to having this cabin, like, right in town versus somewhere kind of far away, especially if you're not going to be here all the time? That is such a great question. If you are somewhere far away and it snows, you're going to feel really far away. Do they get a lot of snow here in Maggie Valley? So, you know, it just depends. It 3,000 feet to 5,000 feet. Um, and depends on, on the year, you know. Oh, totally. Because in Asheville, we didn't have a lot of snow for the last two years. But in Maggie Valley, it seems a little cooler here. Yep, it'll snow but here before here. it snows in Asheville, okay. for sure. And so, to that point, it, there's it's steeper drive, it's a steeper road, and then if it snows, you know, you might be stuck in your home for a couple days. I'm having a ding, ding, ding moment because you are 30 minutes from Asheville. Mm -hmm. You are in a place that has an opportunity to ski. You are in a, a a cabin in the mountains surrounding, but close to everything. It's kind of really the best of all worlds, How isn't it? How cozy does that sound? I love it. It's an experience. I want to look at the back porch. It looked really cool. Yeah. So this home out here, all of this furniture will stay. And you'll often find that with turnover at places like this in Maggie Valley, because maybe it was somebody's vacation home. This was and, definitely somebody's vacation home and where they, they spent many yeah. years. They said they watched their kids grow up here and they came here. Can you imagine all those special memories I know, together? I would love it. And so then when people relocate, move, sell their home, they're fine leaving it furnished. And it's pretty helpful to the next person. Well, they're fine leaving it furnished because they don't want to bring it with them to the next place where the furniture mm. doesn't even fit in right. anymore, right? Or the style doesn't or the fit in there. Yeah, I mean, the style this is very style specific. Yeah. <laughs> Maggie Valley is really different in a lot of, in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. But one of the ways that I have noticed is that there's a lot of people that don't want to live on the side of a mountain because they're a little intimidated by making that drive on a sleep, uh, steep driveway because of what you said earlier about it's a little bit colder here and sometimes it can snow more than Asheville. Mm -hmm. And Maggie Valley is one of those places where you can have a nice level lot but still have mountain views. Right, because we're truly in the valley right here. We're, we're so close to Soco Road, in particular right here for this neighborhood. There's a lot of little neighborhoods off the main strip, so you're still just a little bit higher of elevation. And you're right, we're, Maggie Valley is typically 10 degrees cooler than Asheville. So, that, you know, the lot, sometimes people will go up higher to like Boone or somewhere like that, but the, the issue with that is that once you're in Boone, you're two hours away from everything kind of bigger. I mean, you're isolated a little bit. And here in, in Maggie Valley, you still have access to many different places. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, so Waynesville, one of the most popular right. places and one of the most popular videos that we've made has a larger population, about 10,000, as opposed to like almost 2,000 people here. But you're like a hop, skip, and a jump away from Waynesville. Yeah, and honestly, that's where you're going to go for groceries. They have a variety of grocery stores and um, just anything else that you might need. Like there's a Lowe's, there's all the big box stores. You're going to be going to Waynesville a lot for those accessible things. But wait, that's like 10 minutes? Yeah, yeah. It seems like a wonderful little destination. Okay, so this neighborhood is really special because I've never seen so many log homes and cabins in one little area. So yeah. if you don't live here, it's going to be easier to maintain because there is that HOA, so you can just lock it and go. Mm -hmm. There's probably a thriving cleaning industry. Yes. <laughs> so there's lots of cleaners here that are reliable, that have a reputation, so it's probably yes. easy to set up and implement mm -hmm. a short-term rental as well. And we have a lot of right. context for that too, don't we? So that's what I was just about to say. Yeah, there are specific crews here that do turnovers. Rather than just house cleaning, they turn that vacation rental over. Remember, they're going to have to wash the sheets. They're going to have to replenish all the soaps and all the wonderful things that you use when you go to an Airbnb or VRBO. Yeah. And so in this area, this is a really cute area for, you know, full-time residents, second vacation homes, or short-term rentals. Log cabins are a little bit different to maintain than a traditional house, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So you'll want to clean the log cabin, just wash it down about once a year. Also look for any deterioration, cobwebs, things like that. Uh, carpenter bees, you want to look for that. Uh, next point is pest control. You definitely oh. want to maintain pest control all year. The companies here come out four times a year and they take care of termites and anything else, mice, that you may want to you know, look at. And then also the sealant. So you'll want to seal the log 
Exterior? Yes, interior. Exterior, exterior. Exterior. And every couple years, it just depends on the brand of sealant that you use, and that's recommended. And then did you notice all of these have green metal roofs? Yeah, why do they have green metal roofs? Well, first of all, they It's seal. different than blue. It's okay. cute. <laughs> but metal roofs are actually more expensive than shingle roofs, but they last a Forever. long time. So I've been looking for contentment for a long, long time, and I'm so glad that I found it right here in Maggie Valley. Hey, hey, where are y'all from? Did you ride all the oh, way down nice. here? Wow. How long are you taking? How long is this trip? Nine, ten days? Nine, ten days? Sweet. That's a lot of rides. We've done that before. These bikers are kind of nice. I don't know why I expected them to be so tough. Let's we'll oh, see if we can just... find some rough toughies <laughs> in, Mag in Maggie Valley. I don't think you'll find the rough ones here. Look at this, Evelyn. I know. I don't think they want you to get on it. It does say, you know, the Motorcycle Museum here is interactive and educational. You know, they have over 300 motorcycles here. You know what that reminds me of, interactive and educational? Us. Us. <laughs> totally. And that's exactly what we are here for. Not, we don't sell motorcycles, but we will help you find your place in Western North Carolina. So if you want us to help you do that, or sell your place, reach out any of the ways down below. Oh look, people love the little pin maps here. Put a pin in it. <laughs> oh, you're from Europe. Yeah. You're from Sweden? Yeah. Okay, yes. and you're all the way here to co to the motorcycle museum? Yeah, yes. Only because only of the only reason. The only reason? <laughs> Yeah, so like I said, there is over 300 motorcycles in here, and the guy who started it started collecting in the 1970s. He actually has a motorcycle back to like 1903 or something. So what does Maggie Valley and motorcycles have in common, and why are we, why is oh there gosh. a motorcycle museum here? That's a good question, but motorcycles along the Blue Ridge Parkway, I mean, that's the most perfect thing for motorcycles to do. It's 35 miles Okay, an hour. so beautiful views. So there's a motorcycle museum because we're along the Blue Ridge Parkway. It's a great place for it. Got it. Okay. Great place for it. Hey, how are you, sir? Howdy. Howdy. Yeah, is this your house? Yeah. Place. Awesome. Well, yeah, we're just going to take a little bit of a tour, if that's okay, and show the people what yes, it's about. Yes. I heard you're moving. You're taking almost nothing. You're leaving I, everything. I, I'm leaving everything here. The oh, riding lawnmower. Yeah. There's a Ford truck. Yeah. There's a whole shed of tools. Uh, yeah, the everything tools. to maintain the yeah. whole house. Furnished. All the totally furniture. Totally furnished. Everything's furnished in there, yeah. That's Great. amazing. Yeah. And you're just you're going on the road traveling? Well, I, I, I'm 70, I'm 79 years old. Okay. And it's time to quit. Oh. It's time to just lay back and quit. Yeah. What's it been like living in Mackey Valley for the last 20 years? Oh, gosh. It's growing. It's growing. Yeah. Who's, tell us about the people who live here, what they're like, and who's coming. Well, I just don't know. Uh, I just don't associate with people. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're, well, you're taking care of a lot of stuff, too, aren't That's you? That's right. The, oh, wood the, yeah, the wood stove, the wood, the wood stove, stove yeah. in the green thing. Yep. And he, the wood stove heats the house heats and the house <laughs> and the and the hot water. That's amazing. I don't know if I've heard of that before. It How does that heat the house if it's separate if it's from the house? From the hot water that goes under, oh, under the floor. Under the floor. The hot water goes through the floors floor and, and it radiates it, yeah. up and it heats the house with wood. Right. Right. That's amazing. So that's the heat source. Yeah. I'm gonna have to wrap my head around mm. that for a minute. Yeah. Com comment cool. down below and let us know if you've ever heard of this before or if you have any additional information. That's amazing. <laughs> I love it. You never know what you're gonna find in real <laughs> estate. Well, you never know what you're gonna learn. You never know what you're gonna learn. Yeah. This is like a cooler. And this is it, a. Yeah, it is. It was no cooler at one time. Oh really? <laughs> it's a walking cooler. It was a walking cooler at one time. Furnace here. The central boiler. Or outdoor yeah. wood furnace. If you want to learn anything about it, it's right there. Okay. That looks like a big brochure pamphlet thing that is probably mm -hmm. not going to happen today <laughs> for me. Right. As a fact, this stove was a seven, seven thousand or eight thousand dollars, and by the time I got it all hooked up, it was uh, fourteen thousand. Well, oh my goodness. So what I'm understanding too is you're pretty self-sufficient here. I mean, so you can heat with wood throughout the whole house right. and the water and you have some solar panels too, right, you said? Yeah, I got two solar panels. I, you can hook them up here and put them on top of this thing and, and you wouldn't even have to, this only runs a light bulb. Oh. The, the power of a, of a light bulb. Wow. So, and there's a generator over there. And you have four generators, so, I mean, you're not, you could be totally off grid while I, being so close to town. You are I don't totally know. off grid. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, I, I think, I think one reason I wouldn't live up on the mountain. 
Why? I used to I used to cut trees, climb trees and all that stuff. I wouldn't have a tree around my house. Because they could fall down or well, what? They could do a lot of damage. They can do a lot of damage. They can knock out everything. Anything. I think this is a great property. <laughs> I can, awesome. I, 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 can, I can imagine a lot of people wanting to live here. Uh, All right. you, can you close that? We'll okay. go. What about the doggy? This is Baby Diamond here. here she's okay. got Hi, Diamond. Hi, buddy. All right, here we go. Hey, Baby Diamond. Look at this staircase. Who built this? Yeah. This was already there. That's cool. Yeah, this is cool. If you take your shoes off, you can feel the heat on the floor. Oh. oh, I can feel the heat. I want to feel the heat on the floor. It's like, that's amazing. That's with wood. I, okay, so he said when you come in here, you can see the whole thing. We've got um, a thousand square feet and one bedroom, one bathroom, yeah. and a loft. We've got one bedroom. We'll share it with a few minutes. It's all hickory, and our cabinets are all hickory. That was so fun to see those homes. They were really different. Yeah. Wow. Love okay. It. You never know what you're going to get on Living in Asheville YouTube channel. Now we are back at the fairgrounds. There are all these different festivals here in the fairgrounds, and you've been to some of them before, right? I have. The Boho Fest is one of my favorites that happens every year. All the hippies come out. There's this bus that has all this hippie wear that travels from festival to festival. And of course, they have a stage over here where they play live music. So that's just one of them. There's also Thunder in the Rockies. That one is with motorcycles. Oh. And Thunder in the Rockies, you know, because the Driving a motorcycle through the Blue Ridge Parkway during the summer is a key thing. And, you know, Blue Ridge Parkway is right here. So we get a lot of motorcycles, especially the Motorcycle Museum here in Maggie Valley. And there's just festival after festival, week after week, really from May through October. That's so yeah. fun. I yeah. see they're setting up over here on the stage. Let's go check it out and see who's here. How fun to have a stage with these mountain back oh my gosh i know i'm totally digging it this is going to be incredible i can't believe they're having beatbox I know. in the mountains i'm surprised they're having beatbox here i think that's really progressive for maggie valley this fella just flew in from where dc dc and he wants to know where to get a good sandwich and you like sandwiches where in, do you like in asheville. In, asheville. Yeah, in asheville where asheville. do you get the best sandwich i mean asheville sandwich company is awesome um and then uh put him on a sandwich spot i know that's, that's right, right. But, but i mean asheville sandwich company is awesome over in west asheville can anyone tell us about the beatbox thing so this event specifically is multiple organizers that are going to be here uh that are from kansas city uh like, I actually don't know where Lethal is from, but there's another event uh, called Midwest, which was one of like the earlier beatbox battles that were was featured in the U.S. Um, and a lot of these organizers just came together and created this event. This is mainly Tanner, uh, also known as Base Inc., uh, who is organizing this event. He's the one who's gotten all the vendors, uh, found this venue, wanted to do it somewhere that looks beautiful, you know, and uh, Maggie Valley definitely is gorgeous out here. He is just trying to grow the beatbox scene in the Midwest, you know. Bye! Maggie Valley has so much going on. It's so fun, and this valley is so expansive as well. But hey, maybe it's a little small for you and you want a little bit more action. You should head down the road to Waynesville. Check out this video right here, and we'll tell you all about it. Until then, ciao for now!